All right, now we're now going to talk uh, to live to Paul Stoddart, who joins us down there from in, from the uh, Minardi Motorhome. Um, Paul, uh, I saw you have a very public row with three very important figures in Formula One, uh, Frank Williams, Ron Dennis, and uh, Eddie Jordan, and you said you were totally disillusioned. Now, it was a couple of days ago. Uh, how can you repair that situation? Jim, I don't think I have to repair it. Um, actually, what was happening on Friday was regrettable. Um, it was forced by, upon me into a position where I had no choice. Um, I had to withdraw my support for the changes to the 2004 technical regs. I knew that was going to come out publicly, and I felt that we should tell the whole story, tell it quickly, get it over and done with. And if they don't like that, um, then that's their problem, really. But do the big teams and the big manufacturers really want a team like Minardi in Formula One? Well, I think they do. I mean, the whole uh, essence of this argument was about the need to protect 10 teams in Formula One. I mean, at the end of the day, Max, very bravely, I think, as the regulator, did a fantastic job on January the 15th to improve the support of Formula One. And we've all seen that this year. We've seen some fantastic racing. We've got two championships that are very close. Part of that package also was to actually keep 10 teams in Formula One because to not do that would have actually destroyed the very fabric of um, the Constructors' Championship. And, it, you know, it was a fundamental point of agreements made on 15th of January and that was my issue with Ron and Frank, not so much with Eddie. Minardi are going to survive. Are you going to survive after this season? Absolutely. I have, as many of you know, um, we've got an association with the most powerful name in motor racing, Bernie Eccleston. Bernie does care. He is passionate. He built this up over a quarter of a century and uh, he invested in Minardi yesterday. We're here for the long haul. Are you going to make it up with Ron Dennis? Um, to be honest, my door's always open to Ron and Frank and, um, you know, really, we're going to get on with the racing and that's what we're here to do today. And your drivers are in good shape. Say again, Jim. Your drivers are in pretty good shape. They've been doing a fantastic job. All the politics are going on, so let's get the politics behind us now and we're out there to erase those McLarens today. Good luck, Paul. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Jim.